if it hadn't been music, what would Ray Columbus be doing today? I was uh, always a fashionista, and Lane Walker Rudkin, who have just gone under sadly, they wanted, they used to make all of our clothes for the invaders and I, the zoot suits. I used to design the final cut of them to wear. Um, and they, are, they asked me if I would apply for a job as an, an apprentice cutter and designer. And I was, was always fascinated by that until I went to sign the contract. And I said, what's this figure down here? They said, oh, that's two pounds, 17 and six months a week. That's how much you'll be paid gross before tax. I said, what? Two pounds, 17 Two pounds, 17 and six. And I said, I'm making more than that on a Saturday selling ice creams in the movie theaters. And they said, yes, but this is a long-term career. And I said, I've got a long-term career. I can be an entertainer. <laughs> I didn't have to do work for that. So I, there's no way I'm doing that. Yeah. And I, I'm quite confident that had I done so, I would have done all right. I've always been a fashion Easter in my brain. And it's um, just one of those things. It doesn't matter whether it's, whether it's jeans or shoes or whatever it is. But, uh, and so I probably would have been a cutter and designer. I would have been in the art somewhere. Tomorrow morning on Television One, yeah. it's celebrating on the Good Morning Show, the birthday of Howard Morrison. 74 years old tomorrow. Wow. And he's requested for me to come down. And uh, well, there have been rumors lately of his demise, which is really, you know, I would, I, somebody phoned me uh, a broadcaster, I, I'm not even gonna mention the name, I would respect normally, phoned me and wanted me to wake up early in the morning to talk about someone's uh, demise. And I said, who? These people have called me over the years for yeah. Sinatra's death, yeah. Elvis's death, Sammy Davis Jr., uh, Sammy Davis Jr., John Lennon, Tommy Adderley. Um, when they called and said, Elvis Presley's died, I went, <laughs> I hung the phone up, <laughs> cried my eyes out. Mm. And they called back and my wife answered the phone. She said, oh, I can't talk to you. He's very upset. Mm. Whatever you told him, he's upset. You know, oh, can we call him back later? She said, whatever. <laughs> because I mean, she didn't even know why I would, but I, you know, they say, how do you feel about it? And so I said, who was this person? And they said, Sarah Morrison. I said, no way. Yeah. He's my brother. We talk on the phone. I've been in touch with him recently. He's good. He was very frail when we did to Sir with love. Mm. Uh, there's no way he's ill. They said cancer. I said, crap. Sorry about the language, but it's true. I said, crap. I said, he's... He, he had to have hip replacement, and that's why he was frail during um, To Sir With Love. And I was frail because I was getting over a stroke, so I couldn't sing, I was only talking, but I was determined to be there. And he's like me, a very determined, he's much more determined than I am, if anything, and I don't believe this. But you've upset me greatly, so I hung the phone, and they said, will you be standing by anyway? I just hung up. Um, and so I phoned him immediately, yeah. and it was on voicemail, and I said, Howie, I've just been terribly upset by this, terrible rumour that you're unwell and you've got cancer. I know Queer or Donna or Howie Jr. or you, someone would have called me if you were ill. I know you keep, you know how much I care. Someone would have called me. So Howie called me back and he said, I'm hailing hearty, bro. Those <laughs> bastards, you know. Said, well, you may not have said that's my language. But he went in the, on the Rotorua paper the next morning with a front page ad saying, I'm alive. You know, a photo, I mean. Ray Columbus, wonderful to have you. Wonderful Pleasure to have to you on the here, program. Jared. You're such a huge part of the New Zealand entertainment industry, so it's a privilege to have you here. Thank you, Ray. Thank you.